With conserved forage and grass making up the majority of a ruminant's diet, knowing its nutritional value and how it changes as you move through the season is vital. Investing in adequate fertiliser application, harvesting and clamping the grass is okay, but all this hard work and cost is pointless if the silage is not fed correctly and accurately balanced with the relevant concentrates. Taking time to collect a silage sample which properly reflects the entire silage pit is a very worthwhile exercise. Taking one sample from a section of the pit is no good. During feeding, you will move across the silage pit face, taking silage from top to bottom, so the sample must represent this. In order to achieve a representative sample of the entire silage pit face, several subsamples should be taken and mixed together. Take nine individual samples in a W shape across the whole clamp face. For each subsample, dig out silage to about 15 centimeters or six inches deep in the silage pit face. A screwdriver is useful for this. This will remove any weather affected silage or secondary fermentation from oxygen exposure, which could distort results. Mix denial samples evenly on a clean surface or in a bucket. Discard half, mix again, and continue this process until you have about 500 grams or a minimum of half a sample bag's worth of silage. Having enough silage in one sample bag is important for the analysis to be done properly. When sealing the sample bag, make sure all the air is squeezed out to stop further fermentation before the sample is tested. Silage quality changes as the season progresses, not necessarily due to fermentation, but because most silage pits contain multiple cuts taken from multiple fields of different lays or grass types. Variation in DM and ME across the pit face can be substantial and costly if the ration is based on sample from only one section of the clamp. Surprisingly, the biggest variation in a clamp face is from top to bottom. Your gain feeds business manager can test and give you your silage results on the spot by using the NIR device.